circuits on the racing calendar. Welcome to Monaco for today's Formula One qualifying. Welcome to qualifying for the F1 2018 Monaco Grand Prix. Alright. So we're going to start that. Yep. Park Farm A. Farm A. Qualify for the biggest race of the season tomorrow. Hopefully everybody's having a great Memorial Day weekend. As of this recording. Next time we'll be in action after this weekend. After this weekend's race in uh, Monaco, we're off to... We're going to our first visit to North America in two weeks' time. Montreal. Another circuit, of course, in the F1 2017 crew mode. It was a rain race. Hopefully it'll be dry for, by then. Alright, 18 minutes on the clock. Bottom five will be eliminated when this session is over. Perez went to the top of the time sheets. Of course, he's in hyper sauce. Should get some more uh, resource. Should get some more points for. Probably save some points for the for the race tomorrow, so I can get some more resource because I have a freaking upgrade I want to do for Paris or for France rather. Oh, Ricardo's on my rear end. Or I'm on Ricardo's rear end. I'm sorry. Wow, a 14.8. That's the fastest of the weekend. How about a 14.1? Yeah, lap traffic isn't going to be easy. Let's get that. Sorry, Ricardo. I didn't mean to do that to you, mate. Ah, and then you hit me. Sorry, Ricardo. That was my fault. I just... I should have not dive bomb underneath you. Now you're going to cause a massive issue. This one will be a wipe. Yeah, Ricardo's stuck in a vulnerable, vulnerable position. I spun him in... Um... Marivo, and that was my fault. I should have not be sticking up on the inside in a qualifying session, so I fucked up Ricardo's lap. Sorry, Ricardo. Oh shit. I didn't realize there was one lap of fuel remaining. I had like 50 something laps in the tank. Don't worry, I'll go back out. I'm gonna probably put some more fuel in the tank and then just save it as it is. Yeah, let's go to the garage. Damn, I'm sorry, Ricardo. That was my fault. Shouldn't be diving up on the inside, especially in a qualifying session. And then he just backs up into me. Oh, he collided with Raikkonen. Oh, he got a grid penalty. <laughs> so he got... That should have been... I should have gotten the grid penalty, not him. Oh well. Nothing you can do about that if you ask me. Yeah, because I'm the dumbass who dove it up on the inside and I should have just backed the fuck off because it wasn't going to work any freaking way. But no. I'm guessing when he drove the wrong way, he probably hit Raikkonen. That's probably why he got the grid penalty in the first place. But I should have got the grid penalty because I'm the I'm the dumbass who turned him. Oh, Vettel went quicker than me. Well, there you go. I was on a I was on a hot lap. Like I said, I was on a fast lap and then I fucked myself. So I I kinda deserve that, if you know what I mean. After this session, the slowest five drivers will be eliminated. 
and of course second race in a row where I'm involved in a collision however they gave the AI driver the penalty I wish they should have given the player given me the penalty because I'm the dumbass who turned him number one number two that should have been me getting the grid penalty because you know, I don't know why I decided to be a smartass and try to pass him in fucking Miraville when I knew that was not the smartest thing to do, if you know what I mean. And all of you can agree with me. Because I'm just, I'm just being an asshole, because there you go. I should have not passed him in Miraville. I should have waited until we got to the chicane or got to... Or... You know what I mean. But regardless, this lap's not going to... Oh, Vettel broke in the 113s. So he went a little faster than I did. But... But still good news is for me is that that's going to be good... Oh, I... Uh, whoa, sorry, I'm not paying attention. But going back to what I was trying to say before I did... Before that little stunt... That puts me in a good spot to make it pass into Q2 as looks like my teammate's gonna do the exact same. Then it... Ah, crap. Sorry. That's what I should have done the first time. Just back off from my teammate. Yeah. I sh scratched the pain. But that really costed me a shitload. That really costed me some time. Then again, Perez slowed down in a very unpredictable part of the track, so... Yeah, that's gonna be a fun conversation after this session with my teammate. And asked him, why the fuck did you do that? You did the exact same thing to me in Bahrain when I came up and lapped you. I don't know how much damage he's got on his car. I'm kinda curious. Yep, I I pretty much screwed that lap, but I wasn't gonna go faster anyway, so Let's just go ahead and repair it get it over with Just be done with it I think I'm just gonna park in the pit road. Yeah, 322. I'm not gonna go out there All right Oops wrong way. All right Wow I went faster than him in Sector 1, but he had a blistering lap in Sector 2 and 3. My teammate's up the 10th. So, Ricardo got a grid penalty, so that's going to add insult to injury. Wow, Botas is 12th. That's unexpected. Gasly's on the cusp. Who's in the bottom 5? No surprise. Well, surprise me. Everybody's on hypers. Wow. Hartley, Erickson, doesn't surprise me. Sorokin doesn't surprise me. This one does. Hulkenberg surprised me. Lance Stroll doesn't surprise me. Surprise Hulkenberg's not doing well, especially when he's P19. Let's see, a 16 2 to a 13 9. Yep, that's. That just pretty much goes to show you how a crap car. And he's about to get out qualified by his teammate Sainz. That's just freaking funny, unless he gets something going. Remember in the career mode in uh, F1 2017, I was like 19th. I was in the bottom five, and I got all the way up to the top of the timesheets. But that was when I had... But that was like when I had a shitload of dislikes. Like, somebody hated me for some reason, which I don't know why, but whatever. I just continue doing what I normally do, so... Wow. If this, if, um, if this was the Q3... I would have lost the pole by two tenths of a second, which still not too bad starting on the front row, but <laughs> then again, it's just Q1, people. God. All right. Let's switch that over. Everybody is on Hypersoft except Hamilton and Ricardo. They're on Ultras. So I'm starting to think they might go a long stint for the Mars race if they start on those tires for Q1. Uh, Two. All right. Let's just stay right here, and I'm gonna do this. Just save us some time. All right. Wow. Verstappen picked up, went to second. 
but it doesn't matter. So Vettel advances, Verstappen advances, I advance, Raikkonen, Hamilton, Ricardo will have to take a five grid spot penalty wherever he qualifies. For Lonzo, Sainz, Magnussen, Bottas, Perez. Yay, my teammate made it through. Rojan, Leclerc made it in the Q2 in his home race. So did Hulkenberg. He was in the bottom five. He finally got out of the bottom five. Picked up some time. Stuffel Van Dorn makes it. And look at that. Three tenths of a second. Gasly will start 16th. Hartley will start 17th. So Gasly's out qualified his teammate. Uh, Stroll is probably out. Stroll, Erickson, and Sorokin. Also, that means Leclerc has out qualified his teammate, Marcus Erickson. How about that? Any other penalties? Oh, Erickson crashed. Okay, well, that ex So Erickson took himself out of qualifying. So not only get knocked out of qualifying, you also took, you also decided to compound your error by crashing out of qualifying. Bravo. Classic Marcus Erickson, unless someone shoved him into the barriers at Sandoval or somewhere else. I don't know. Right, we've lost telemetry. We've lost pretty much all sensor information. It's being looked oh. into now, so just bear with it for a few minutes if you can, please. Oh, wonderful. No, I want it on this one. I want to save this one for the race. Same with this one. So, yeah, two and a half minutes. So, I'll be already in the bottom five. <laughs> Watch, I'm going to be in the bottom five. Well, Verstappen just made the first lap. Okay. Oh, the track's busy. I want to wait till the track's not busy. When it's not busy, I'll go out there and just steamroll everybody. But I know I'm going to be in the bottom five. Bottas, Science. Eh. 14-7. Wow, Verstappen's up the fastest time in the week. In real life, he crashed out of FP3. Didn't even do qualifying. So what the hell does that tell you? I'm going to wait till the track is open, then I'm going to get out on track. I was going to go on track, but that sensor leaked that I had to sit for two and a half minutes really fucking screwed me. Alright, my teammate's on the cusp. Verstappen's actually coming in, so... If I barely get into Q3, I might have a good chance to out-qualify my teammate for the fifth time. Yep, my teammate's in the bottom five. Has my teammate gone out? Nope. Oh, yep, he has. Pfft, never mind. I take I take that back what I just said about my t has my teammate gone out? Well, there's your answer. <laughs> but it's because I'm waiting till everybody goes out. Goes into the garage. Then I can start my lap. Yep, I'm going to be in the bottom five before you know it. That's because I don't want to get I don't want to get sent out in the garage when there's like too many cars, and plus I don't get a grid penalty. Wow, Ricardo, a 14-4. 1-4. Of course, he broke the track record. Yep, now I'm in the bottom five because Sainz and Hulkenberg put out their lap. I think I'm just being patient. I understand there's like 10, 10 minutes left in the session, but I don't want to go out on track where it gets too crowded. You know what I mean? I don't want to ruin anybody's lap. Oh good, there's some cars that are coming in. Sweet! Holy shit, like... So Leclerc is in the bottom five. Well, we'll be in the bottom five for now. Perez, 15-5. That's not gonna cut it. When it gets to like in the green, then I'm gonna get out on track. I haven't set a lap time. That's because... Oh, and Van Dorn hasn't set a lap time either, so... There you go. Grosjean setting his time. Then I'll go set mine. All right. Okay, I think it's, yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's get out on track. All right, there we go. See, patience is key for me. As long as I don't have any traffic, we, are, we should be fine. Yep, you know, me and Van Dorn haven't set a lap time, but that's about to change.
Alright, here we go. First first lap time for me in Q2, and this will be the tire I'm gonna start the race for tomorrow. I think everybody should start the race on hypers. Except the people in in a Q2. If I set a good lap for Q, remember I only need to get in the top ten for that for pole qual for that shootout. I think Van Dorn just went out. Whoa! Ooh, that's gonna kill. That's gonna be lost a little bit of time. Thankfully, I still have a car in one piece, or I'm out of qualifying. That would that could have been worse. Thankfully, it wasn't. Alright, where's that gonna put me? Six. I'm gonna try to see if I can get that time improved. Yeah, because I lost a lot of time through the swimming pool section. And I don't have anybody to... That's gonna impede my lap. I lost a little bit of time. Crap. That's not good. I had a good first sector going, but I lost a lot of time. That's really not going to do my lap time any good. That's really a shame because I was really going to try to see if I can go a little quicker. Five minutes in the session. It's gonna be good, but I did not improve, sadly. Now I just gotta hope and pray that's good enough to get to Q3. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. It's gonna be close. Our best lap so far is a Let's see. Oh, going the wrong way. Who's in the bottom five? Leclerc, Perez, Grosjean, Magnus, and Van Dorn. That's going to be very close. I don't know if I'm going to make it to Q3. If not, A. It was a valiant effort. Well, then again, this setup I have in the car is really just... It's okay. It's not the best. Wow, Verstappen with a 14th... Wow, 14-3 to a 14-9. Six tenths of a... I am off. Red Bull's got the pace this weekend. I don't know why. But they're pretty fast. But I know that for sure. Now I know this will be the tire. I only ran four laps. Hmm. I might... Ex I might be able to... Well, I if I even go out there, I'm only going to complete... Yeah... I'm going to have to run hard. But that's going to be very close if I'm going to make it to Q3 or not. Either Oh, wow. Ricardo went a 14-2. God, he's almost in the 113s. Holy shit. But I beat him by, by a good margin. 3,200s. God. All right. Let's see if that's going to be enough for me to get to Q3. Oh. Did I make it to Q3? Oh. Oh, I barely made it to Q3. My teammate did as well. So Lewis Hamilton... Oh, wow. Hamilton went a 13-8. Fastest lap... 18-1-4. Wow. Fastest lap of the weekend. Ricardo makes it. Both Ferraris made it. Both Red Bulls and Mercedes. That doesn't surprise me. Sainz made it. So he is out-qualified. His teammate, Nico Hulkenberg. Fernando Alonso, again, out-qualifies. Van Dorn... Me and freaking Perez barely made it 
by our chinny chin chins and we are in Q3. The same can't be said for Haas. Grosjean's out qualified his teammate. And I already told you about the dilemma right there. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Well, <laughs> uh, now I can now I can just now I can just relax and just go try to see where we're gonna start for tomorrow's race. Even though wherever Ricardo is gonna start, he's gonna have to take a five grid spot penalty because of the incident in Q1. Oh, I want this tire. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, because that's the tire I have to give back to the manufacturer is the Q3 tire. All right, 10 cars, 12 minutes. We'll start on the pole for tomorrow's Monaco Grand Prix for the F1 2018 career mode for season one. We're about to find out, Daryl. First time my teammate, first time, first time my teammate and I made it in the, made it in the Q3 since what, Australia? Even though I, I've out, ah, crap. I just fucked up sound the vault. Thank you very much there, Boils. Maybe if I shouldn't talk, if I make a fucking wide turn. As I was going to say, yeah, it's been a while since me and Perez were in Q3 together. So, yay. So that's the goal. I would like to see Ricardo start, like... Pro well, even if Ricardo starts on the pole, he's going to have to take a 5 grid spot penalty for that collision. I think it is a 5 grid spot penalty. I could be wrong. Oh, God. It could be a Mercedes front row. Imagine if we end up getting a Force India front row. That would be nice. But the chances of that happening is slim to none. It's impossible in real life. Wow, Max Verstappen of 14.5. What's my lap time gonna be? I don't think it's gonna be competitive. Let's get that shit right. Let's see. Only oh, yeah, I think it's a Renault or somebody hasn't came in. Fourth. Eh, that's okay. I would say that's that's not a good lap. Ooh, 14.2 for Ricardo. So I'm, oh, I'm six. Wow, I'm, a, I'm ahead of freaking uh, Botas. That's a shocker. So I could be row three, but up a spot because of Ricardo's five. Now I'll be up a spot because of Ricardo's five grid spot penalty, if you know what I mean. A little time coming up to the swimming pool section. This could actually. Whoa, crap! I was about to get ready to say this is going to be my worst start. Nope, did not improve. I was I was expecting to improve that lap. Doesn't look like it's going to be another another pole position for me unless I figure something out and quickly without hitting the damn barriers. All right, last chance. Don't think I'm going to start on the pole on Monaco the way it's looking, but still a good, still a good start. Wow, we're P8. Holy shit. Botas is P9. That's what that's what surprises me. Alright. Let's go get her. Let's go get that damn pole, shall we? If even if we don't win the pole, it's okay. It's still a good it's still a good spot for the Mars race. Personal bus in sector one.
four. That's not going to be a pull. That's okay. Fourth is not bad. But that also means I've outqualified my teammate for the fifth rate. For the fourth time this season. Good encouragement, Jeff. Good encouragement. Probably I'm going to start on row two unless I come up with a magical lap to stop the Red Bulls. I don't know. We'll see. Ten. This is going to be my last time lap. That session. Here we go. Will I be able to get the pull in Monaco? It's not looking like it. Let's see. Did I get it? No. Fifth. Oh well. That's not too bad. Who got it? Ricardo. Oh, Vettel got a great pedal. <laughs> Ricardo, wow. Okay, funny thing I want to mention. He started on the pole in real life. He just won the pole in the career mode. What the hell did Vettel get a five grid spot penalty for? I'm curious. <laughs> wow, he collided with Hamilton. GG. But it's going to be Max Verstappen who's going to start on the pole. Lewis Hamilton alongside. Row 2 is going to be myself and Kimi Raikkonen. Because uh, Ricardo will fall to 6. He'll probably share row 3 with Bottas. Vettel's going to start ninth, So he'll be alongside my teammate. So I've outqualified my teammate. Sainz is going to start 8th. Alonso's going to start 7th. So... There you go. That's it for qualifying. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like, comment, and theater, give us a subscribe if you haven't yet to become a part of the PCS Ray crew today. Congratulations to Red Bull. Question is, can Max Verstappen turn his gifted pole, thanks to his teammates' five grid spot penalty, into a win? You have to tune in to tomorrow to figure that answer out. So until then, goodbye, everybody.